Okay, Nathan, let's start with uh, yesterday's game against Newcastle. A full house at the new stadium, uh, a, gr a great atmosphere, yeah. but ultimately uh, a disappointing performance for you? Yeah, it was a disappointing performance. I feel uh, Cardiff didn't start as they should have done, really. They didn't start on the front foot. I know it's a bit of a cliche, but um, they started very tentatively. They almost looked um, like they gave Newcastle a bit too much respect, I think, first first ten minutes. And uh, we're, you know, we're struggling to keep the ball or to put any sort of passing momentum to, together. So, uh, yeah, it was, it was disappointing, but, um, you know, it's only one loss in five or six now. So, all things considered, uh, it's not been our two losses of the last six games. So, uh, all things considered, it's not been a bad start. Yeah, I mean, the pessimists would say uh, it's a game that showed where Cardiff City are, you know, up against the top teams, they're not quite up to that level. Do you think that's a fair assessment or, or are Cardiff still one of the top teams for you in the league? I would say Cardiff's 11 are probably, you know, in the top five or six um, in the league, but Cardiff's squad, I would say, is probably more like, you know, ninth or tenth sort of position in the table, so... It's going to be difficult to ask for Cardiff this year. They've, they've, you know, they've got to, they've got to get lucky. They've got to try and keep most of their big players who started on Saturday fit, um, because as you've seen, there wasn't. Dave Jones didn't have a lot of options from the bench to try and change things. So uh, it's, it's a difficult position to be in at the moment. Yeah, Dave Jones was pretty furious about the, uh, the disallowed penalty decision, the handball there. What was your take on that? I know you were watching in the Bob. I was watching in the Bob Bank. Yeah, I thought it was a penalty. Um, but, you know, uh, you have to say Cardiff, outside of that, created very little. So uh, in 90 minutes, I would, I would expect more, more from Cardiff City, uh, especially at home, especially in front of that crowd, and especially it being such a big occasion against, you know, the team who, uh, who fancied to win the league. So um, Cardiff had a good opportunity to show what they were about yesterday, and they, they, they got caught a bit in the, in the headlights. But, um, you know, you, you could justify it to a degree, but... Uh, I think with, with the team that started on Sunday, they, they, they could have done a bit better, yeah. What did you make of the performance of uh, Joe Ledley up against a top team with Premiership players? It would, would have been the perfect opportunity for him to show yeah, what he I was Yeah, I mean, it's, 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 it's difficult because, you, I mean, you can't focus on, on one player, so to speak, and ask him to, you know, Joe's not a Paul Gascoigne. He's never going to run through six or seven players and plant it in the, in the top corner. He's just a a good, steady, strong, individual player. Um, but still, no matter who you are, you, you still need your teammates around you to perform at their best as well, to give you the opportunity to go and perform at your best. Um, and it was clear that none of the Cardiff players really were performing at their, at their best yesterday. So from, from Joe, Joe's point of view, it, obviously he would have been disappointed in his performance um, because they lost. Uh, but um, I think, you know, Joe's just coming down off what's been a, a, a difficult couple of months over the last, you know, six, five, six weeks. It's been a lot of uh, talk about him leaving and contracts and what have you. So, you know, next, next month or so, I expect him to settle down and get back to his best. Mm, what about the lack of a, a plan B, if you like, uh, yesterday? There's often an accusation thrown at Dave Jones. It's 4 4 2 and, uh, and nothing else for him. Would, uh, I mean, would you like to see. Something a bit a bit different. It this just seems to be resolved. Yeah, well, into yeah, long I would like again. to, and I, and I and I think regardless of of you know um, the players you've got to hand, I think you've got to try and uh, work on different formations and what have you, and you you've got to be adaptable, uh, especially in this league. Uh, so it was it's, it's slightly disappointing from that point of view that they stuck with a four four two. But if they're going to stick with that formation um, up against a team like Newcastle got five in midfield and they have to exploit their own strengths, which was, uh, for me, which would have been getting the ball wide and, and getting lots of crosses in the box. They didn't seem to do that a lot yesterday. So, um, yeah, there, there seemed to be a lack of plan B, but uh, whether or not that was down to the fact that they haven't worked on something or they just don't feel they've got the personnel to change. Another game coming up in midweek against uh, Reading. I mean, how significant is that now? I mean, losing a couple of games is one thing, but when you start to lose, you know, three games on the bounce, it, it affects the mentality, I would imagine. Yeah, I mean, you know, the, the players will be going into Wednesday's game now, thinking, you know, they, they do have to win, but you know, they can go to Reading. Reading Redding's going to be a difficult place to go. They're, they're topped as, or they're tipped as one of the, the top teams. 
Uh, they've not having a great start themselves, along with you know, one or two other teams like Ipswich and what have you. you know, Cardiff are up there in a good position at the moment, so they can be thankful for that. But uh, yeah, very important game going to Reading, and I feel if they can, they can start well and get, get off to a good start and put a lot of pressure on Reading. Uh, Reading fans tend to turn after 20, 25 minutes because they've still got the psyche that they should be in the Premiership or they are a Premiership team amongst Championship teams. So um, if they go there and put a lot of pressure on in the first 20 minutes, half hour, then I can see Cardiff come away with a good result. Yeah, just finally, Nathan, then, is it still a top six finish for Cardiff? Do you think that's the best they can hope for? And do you think they are capable of that? I mean, a lot of people this morning are suggesting that the, the chase for promotion is over already. You know? Well, I wouldn't say that. I mean, they're, they're more than capable of a top six finish because, you know, they've, they've got the players to do it. It's just whether or not the 11 or the 12 or 13 players they have got are going to be able to, you know, withstand the season uh, because it's the squad which, which slightly worries me with Cardiff. They don't seem to have the strength or the backup in depth to come through and support those um, 13 or 14 players who, who are in the first team at the moment. Uh, so I wouldn't write off the season. They, I mean, that's just ridiculous. Cardiff would go, you know, 10 wins out of 10. They, they've got the capability to do that. They just need to keep, you know, key players free from injury and, um, you know, try and build on, on their confidence when they do start winning again. Okay, Nathan, thanks very much. Cheers.